Okay, my friends, this is going to be a real quick test because they blocked me from public broadcasting system. I, I'm not allowed to show their videos. I don't know if anybody is, but under fair use, I should be allowed. So I'm going to try and see if they block me. It's only going to be a couple of minutes. This is red. Seeing red, researchers uncover the century-old mystery of Blood Falls. Did they uncover it or not? This is John Hopkins University did a study of it and they found these tiny little microspheres that were saturated with iron. Now they're supposed to be smaller than, than red blood cells. So let's dig into this. I think they're lymph fluids. Okay, here we are in Antarctica and this is Nova, PBS. They usually block me so I'm just going to make a real quick test. Listen Part to this. One percent of the continent that isn't covered by ice. Instead, here we find craggy mountains. Rock is carved by wind and grit to form impossible looking sculptures. It looks more like Mars than Earth. This. this makes the Dry Valleys one of the most scientifically interesting regions to study on the planet. I think it's a great analog for both Mars and a place like Enceladus. And here in the Dry Valleys, Blood Falls is one of the most intriguing features. Blood Falls is a bit of an obsession for a lot of people. I mean, there's nothing else like this on Earth. It's like this really visceral feature just jumps out at you, you know, Blood Falls. It's an outlier, and so we learn from those extremes, right? There's All right, I'm just going to stop it here. She, they asked her, what do you think it is? She says, maybe it's the... the, the, the Antarctica having its period. <laughs> and then at Johns Hopkins, they examined these tiny little iron spheres. They're iron coated, but inside of them is all the products of life, calcium and so forth. They're apparently not red blood cells. They're smaller than red blood cells. I think they have something to do with the lymph system. And I am going to go deep into that. And I mean deep. So you're going to have to really put on your hip boots when we get ready to go into that. But for right now, I just want to see if they will allow this video to go up. And just so you know, you have your artery blood, you have your vein blood, and they transfer between. The artery ends up going over to there. But you've got a lot of extra cells, and not cells necessarily, but you've got a lot of extra fluids that get absorbed into the lymphatic system. Most people don't understand much about the lymphatic system. But I believe that's where these little tiny nanospheres that they're talking about from Johns Hopkins that's I believe what they're seeing all right so I'm just gonna leave it at this and then we're gonna get real deep if they allow this to go up this is seeing red and this is the red blood cell that well they're not red blood cells here's the key what what happened here was he said uh, he says as soon as I looked at the microscope images I noticed there were these little nanospheres, tiny little round balls were iron rich. That's why the red comes from. It's literally blue iron. It's rusting. They have lots of different elements in them besides the iron. Silicon, calcium, aluminum, sodium. Those are all products of life and those are all in your extracellular fluids. All right, I'm going to wrap it at this for, for the, this video, but when I get to the other one, it's going to be very, very detailed. I believe that's what he's seeing inside that fluid that's coming out and he says these are tiny little iron coated spheres and they have all kinds of other minerals in them and that's what your lymph is, lymph is made out of that and this is the the tissue layers and then inside you have lymph that flows through in your entire body there's four times as much lymph in your body as there is blood but it is it's it's very similar it's just tiny little balls that have these minerals inside of them and other enzymes and all kinds of stuff and I, th I believe that's what they're seeing at Johns Hopkins okay I, this is gets very very deep so this is a very very short just to see if they will allow this first of all and again this is Johns Hopkins and they did a, some detailed analysis on these particles that turn this stuff red and um, he says they're little tiny balls and they contain certain things and, and they're, they're coated with iron oxides. The only place I know where iron comes from is blood. That's in your body. Blood is in your body. It's just 100% iron basically. There's a ton of other metals in there but primarily it's iron and iron <laughs> it's, it's, 
That's the color of iron. And they call it, they say it's rusting. It's red rust coming out of there. 